Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did a smoky winged out look for my eyes and it's quite warm so I kept the warm tones going through the face. And then on the lips I went with a cool toned brown. If you want to know how I achieved this look then please keep on watching. First put the tape on the back of your hand and that just makes it a little less sticky so it's not going to rip your face off. And then you want to line it up with your brow. I'm going to take the Warm Spectrum palette from Zoeva today and I'm going to use all the shadows from here. Um, I'm going to go in with this warm tone over here first and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm using a Morphe brush, it's like that, a Morphe blending brush. Now with a smaller blending brush, I'm using a MAC, um, maybe it's a 217, and I'm going to take the darker chocolate shade from the palette, and I'm just going to concentrate this in the outer corner as well. So we're not buffing the product all over the lid, just on the outer corner. And again, we're taking it all the way to the tape. I'm taking Zoeva's Luxe Petite Pencil Brush and I'm just going to line my eyes um, with the black colour in the palette, so a black eyeshadow. This is just going to really give it a smoky effect. And we're going to bring that shadow all the way across the lid. And then with the Sigma E30 Pencil Brush, I'm going to blend that out and just smudge the black shadow. Now just on the lid, I'm gonna apply this shadow here and just really focusing it on the inner parts of the eye. So it's like a sort of a beige color. And this is just gonna add a little bit of shimmer to the eye. I'm using a large shader E60 brush. So just taking this off now, look how sharp that looks, yes. And I'm just going to curl my lashes with my favourite curler. This is the Shuamura um, S Curler, the best, it like gets really close to the lashes and um, I feel curls them so well. It's also great because you can do your lashes in batches so you can start from the outer corner into the inner corner and make sure you get every lash it just really lifts them okay and then applying my favorite mascara at the moment the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Just giving them a quick coat because we're going to apply lashes anyway. For lashes today, I'm using Velour lashes. These are the fluff and thick lashes, and I love these. They're really um, very winged, so it's going to really suit this eye look because we're going for that really lifted, winged um, eye. I'm going to take that big pencil brush that I used earlier and the chocolate colour and just apply it on the lower lash line and just really smoking this colour out and as you can see it's connecting to the upper wing that we created. So now taking the smaller pencil brush from Zoeva, I'm going to use the black and really get that close to the lash line. And as you guys know, I don't really like black on the inner rim, so I'm going to use a white pencil, and this is just a Chanel um, Intense Eye Pencil in the colour blank. See how that just makes the eye pop? I love a lighter liner on the inner rim. I'm using the Matte Rescue Professional by Benefit, and I just apply this all over the face. It really helps me stay matte. It's so humid in Sydney at the moment, so it's 
a godsend. And I'm just using a Morphe M436 brush to apply this to my face. Today's foundation I'm using Makeup Forever's HD, Ultra HD, sorry, and it is the color 140. And I'm just going to use the Artist brush. This size is number 8. And I just dip it into the foundation that's on the back of my hand and brush it onto the skin. So now I'm just going to use the Boing um, Concealer by Benefit. And I'm just going to use this with my fingers because it is a cake concealer. So you want to warm up the product with your fingers. And I'm just going to lightly just dab it underneath my eye here. And I'm also just dabbing it on the areas that I want to hide. Bit of redness. Literally just disappears. To contour, I'm using the Artist of Makeup Contour Stick in medium. And I'm also using a Artist um, Artiste brush. And I think this is number... Oh, it says Oval 4. To blend, I'm using the Oval 6 brush. Just with the highlight stick from Artist of Makeup, this is the light shade, I'm going to take the Oval 3 brush and just draw a line down the middle of my nose. Then taking my favourite translucent powder, this is the Laura Mercier one, and I'm just going to bake my face. So I'm using the Luxe Face Focus brush to do this. I'm going to use the Artist of Makeup um, palette to contour and I'm going to use this contour shade and maybe mix it with this, these two. So I'm going to mix those two. For highlight, I want a little bit more of a goldy highlight today so I'm using my um, Champagne Pop by Becca. Um, it's broken, so it was so sad when it broke. And I'm going to use a pointed crease brush from Sigma. Now I'm going to dust the powder off, and I'm using NARS um, Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed. And I'm just going to use the same brush that I did to apply it. And just using this powder, I'm just going to flick off the excess powder. So for blush, I'm going back into the palette and I'm going to take this colour here and it's like a shimmery bronze colour. And I'm just using the same brush that I did to contour. Now to highlight the tip of my nose, I'm going to use the Becca Moonstone Highlighter and with the same brush. For the tip of the nose, I don't really like to put a gold um, highlighter, it just looks quite um, on me, it looks quite, um, like you can see that it's gold and it's more of like a colour. Um, whereas this colour and more like lighter champagne-y colours, um, they look like skin is actually glowing. Woo! 
For lips, I'm going to use Dose of Colors Desert Suede. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.